The English Language Arts Toolbar is designed to give teachers innovative and easy to use teaching tools, ideal for creating exciting and engaging lessons. Inspired by teachers and teaching experts, we asked them what kind of subject specific tools they would need when using interactive technologies and this is what we developed as a result. The ELA toolbar is designed to complement the EasyTeach 3.3 toolbar but give interactive software equivalents of familiar teaching tools that you may already use in the classroom. Every ELA teacher has access to text be this text that you copy and paste from the internet, documents on your shared drive or in your documents. So I'm going to start off by opening a poem by Edgar Allan Poe that I have on my documents. And I'm going to do that by double clicking on it and we can see that it opens up within Easy Teach. And I can manipulate that text very easily using the formatting tool, so change the font, change the size of the font. But it's then what I can do with this piece of text that's really going to make a difference to my students. Currently, it's a static resource. But using my close underline tool, I'm able to click out any of the words within a passage. So I'm going to click out examples of rhyming. Like so. And what we'll find is that when we click on the word wallet, there are the words that we took out ready for students to pick up and to place in the appropriate gap. I can even add to that word wallet so if I want to use my close underline tool to take out all of the adjectives in a piece and get students to replace different adjectives to change the audience and the purpose of a piece of writing then I can do that. Moving on, writing standards are generally decreasing or it can be difficult for teachers to keep increasing the standards and a lot of that is due to the fact that students nowadays with the texting and the technology that they use outside of school, it's difficult for them to understand what a good piece of writing looks like. We developed something called split screen which actually allows students to view information side by side. So here we are deconstructing a story and the emphasis is on the students understanding where they would introduce character, setting and plot. And again rather than the screens being static the information can be manipulated from one side to the other. So I would actually argue that although the language arts toolbar has been developed with ELA specifically in mind any subject whereby it's important to view text and answer questions on that text, the split screen tool would be really useful for. Going back to my normal view, I'd like to now show you the editing tool. The big edit tool allows the teacher to actually select a sentence within a piece of text and allow the class to collaborate to edit it. So I'm just going to highlight this sentence here and click on my big edit tool. So as I said, the emphasis on the students actually collaborating to improve that sentence. So perhaps it might be that I'm wanting students to add descriptive words to that sentence. So rather than asking them to draft an entire piece of work, we are selecting sections of the text and having students out at the interactive whiteboard or using the pad to bring up this floating keyboard and we can click, keep clicking add so we can have our next student out at the board, perhaps adding another descriptive word, again depending on the purpose of our piece. And when we've decided as a class that we've improved that, we can click accept and it will change it on our original document. Here is some text that I copied and pasted from the internet. It's very easy to copy and paste text in the same way that you're used to within other applications. You can use Control C and Control V, or there is actually a visual tool that you can use to copy and paste information within Easy Teach as well. So this is Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream 
And what I want to do for this exercise is to actually focus in on the punctuation that's used in the speech. So I can do that using my punctuation tool on my language arts toolbar. So clicking to open it, I can then choose to, if I just position that tool, remove all of the punctuation and or capitals within that piece of writing. Again, let me stress that I imported this text. It wasn't something that I had to type from scratch. EasyTeach treats text in exactly the same way as if I opened it up with an EasyTeach, as if I created it from scratch. And that's really important so you can build on the resources that you already have. The emphasis then is on the interactivity in the classroom and the students actually dragging the punctuation out to repunctuate that passage. Or it could be that we're looking at changing the meaning of a sentence for something um, passive into a command. Lots of different flexible ways that we can use that punctuation tool. There's also a highlighted tool within the language arts toolbar that allows me to be more precise in my highlighting in that I can actually click on a word and it will highlight that whole word for me. So I can change the colour and get students to perhaps highlight the discursive markers within a speech or highlight nouns and adjectives different colours. So lots of ways that I can use that highlighting tool to identify different categories of words pictorially be it nouns and verbs, spelling patterns or rhyming sequences. Finally on the English Language Arts Toolbar I'd like to show you the word and sentence builder cards. So let's just open up our tool and this tool enables teachers to choose cards containing common words and word endings and to place these on the EasyTeach screen. So as you can see there's a whole bunch of pre-prepared cards in there but besides that you can also create your own and the cards fit together and can be used to build words from their parts or sentences from whole word cards. You can even print the cards for use later. So if we look at this activity, the emphasis on the students dragging the appropriate plural by perhaps removing letters. So you can see we've got this snap to there. And I'm going to add the most appropriate plural according to the spelling strategies that I'm following. So the close underline tool, the split screen, the big edit, the punctuation tool, and the word and sentence builder cards were just a few of the highlights of the language arts toolbar. There are other tools such as a timer, ability to create writing frames, as well as a repel text function that repels text away from images. The idea of these tools is that they help the language arts teacher to model and demonstrate concepts, ideas and processes without having to spend too much time creating resources from scratch. RM Easy Teach makes interactive whiteboard and whole class teaching simple for everyone. And don't forget, you can save and reuse lessons and actually share them with colleagues.